Hey everybody, welcome back to Dirt Daily. Today we're going to be talking about another San Diego Comic Con exclusive toy. But this one gets me a little more excited than some of the others. See, I've been a fan of Green Lantern for, oh gosh, how old am I? Uh, about as long as I've been alive. And when they announced they were doing a Justice League Unlimited exclusive 3 pack, I was beside myself. I thought, this is fantastic. Now, of course, because of certain licensing rights, they couldn't do the Hal Jordan Green Lantern they wanted to do, but still, they came up with an interesting workaround. Let's take a look. Here is the pack. It comes in a nice big power battery type case. Anytime a toy is packaged with its own carrying handle, you know there's something special going on here. But there's another neat little bonus about this package. See these little raised tab areas here? That's where it snaps together. This case, because it's not being sold in stores and was only available at the show or online at MattyCollector.com, it actually opens and reseals. So you can take them out and play with them and then pop them back together and display it on your shelf. Phenomenal, phenomenal idea. Now, much like all the Justice League Unlimited packs, you do have the characters on the front with the energy burst, although this time it's green instead of the orange-yellow that you usually get. And then on the back you get the animated scenes from the uh, cartoon show along with information about the characters at the bottom. Now, again, one of the interesting things was because of licensing they couldn't do Hal Jordan as a Green Lantern. You got Abin Sur, who was his predecessor who died and transferred the ring to him. You got Sinestro, who was his mentor and then turns into his ultimate enemy. But Hal Jordan's in his flight suit. I don't know exactly what the deal is, but because Jon Stewart was the Green Lantern in the show, he's the one you find in all the stores. So how do you get this Hal Jordan to be a Green Lantern? Well, you pop open your energy battery. You pull out your guys. Take out your Hal Jordan, and you go, wow, that's a nice orange jumpsuit you got there, Mr. Jordan. Thank you. You're welcome. Now, you simply grab his head. No, no. Yeah, and you just pop it right off. Now he looks like he's a little pinhead guy. Regardless, you take one of the other Green Lanterns, doesn't matter which, and you pop his head off. Me too. Yes, you. Ha-ha. Now, you can take your Hal Jordan head, Put it on the Green Lantern body, and even though he's not wearing the mask, you now have your Hal Jordan Green Lantern in the Justice League Unlimited figure line. It's a neat little workaround. Not 100% effective, of course, because he doesn't have the mask, and most people uh, who are not big fans of the line are going to complain anyway because there's only the five points of articulation. There's no knees, no elbows, just your shoulders, hips, and neck, but... All in all, being the Green Lantern fan I am, I had to have one of these anyway. And the fact that you can pop off the heads and do that is really a neat idea. And the fact that you can then take the little headless Hal Jordan and stick your Abin Sur right on top. Oh, check that out! Looks like the uh, the guy from the Hills Have Eyes. What's his name? Michael Berry? What, uh, Michael, uh, uh, yeah. That guy. Yes, that guy. There's his picture. There's his name. That guy, yeah. Kind of looks like him. Which, uh, you know, I might have to buy a second set just so I can keep, you know, these guys like this so I can do my own little thing. But anyway, all in all, is, which is a phrase I use all the time, all in all, uh, I love this set. Deficiencies of the Justice League Universe line aside, if you're a fan of Green Lantern or you're a fan of the Justice League Unlimited toy line, there's no reason not to buy one of these sets.